Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this Sandman effect. Now, uh, YouTuber asked me to create this effect, uh, Harrison verse 43. Now, this effect here, I know what you're thinking, it's probably not all that great because I haven't spent that much time on it. But basically, what this is, is it's just a stepping stone on showing you on the first steps on creating something just like this. And you can put your own mark on it. So it's kind of just like a stepping stone, and then you create you from your own imagination um, it's quite a versatile effect so it's pretty good now to create this sort of effect we're going to need a few bits so if I just skip over to the websites now this website here is a great website it's called brusheasy.com uh, I've probably said it in the, some other tutorials uh, this one here is the smoke brushes uh, which we're going to need for the effect and I'll put the link in the description bar the next website is this one, Stock Exchange, for free stock images, which I always use. Uh, the first one is called Dirt Texture 1, so we're going to need that one, and that's going to be in the description bar. There's also another brush um, set that I use for this effect, but I'll put, the I'll put it in the description, or if I can't find it, I'll link you to my website, which should have it. So you can just download it from there and it's easy so once we've done that and we've got everything that we need let's get back to Photoshop and we're gonna go to our main picture now Harrison you said that you want the half of the face doing um, like in this picture right here that I created now people that are thinking this isn't Harrison's picture this is just a picture I got from Photo Exchange now this is a higher definition picture that's why it should work pretty well now if you don't you can play around with it, it might not turn out the way you want it to um, but it's okay if you've got a higher resolution one then it's you're good to go then so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and load our image now if you're new to Photoshop as I always say this we're gonna go to file open and then select your image now once you've done that we're gonna go and duplicate this layer so what you want to do is you want to drag this layer down uh, to the new image uh, sorry new layer uh, button like so and we're gonna double click the background image to unlock it you're gonna, it's gonna say new layer and you want to either name it or click OK whatever you want to do now we're going to zoom out we're going to go to the rectangle marquee tool uh, make sure that you've got the top layer selected and we're just going to select his face half of his face so about there would do for us zoom out I'm going to go to filter we're going to go to sketch and we're going to go to photocopy Now if I zoom out, now we're going to bring the darkness like there. So this really doesn't apply to all images, this thing here. Um, you can follow the numbers that I'm putting in, 24 for detail and 14 for darkness, but it really depends on your image at the time. Uh, because it contrasts with mid-tones and stuff like that for the darkness so it's all different for all different images so you just need to play around with this bit now once you've got something like this you're going to click OK again now from this bit onwards we're going to press Control and D to deselect that we're going to go to our eraser tool you want to make sure that you've got the background layer which is the layer underneath the one that we're working already is visible because we're going to erase the top part of the layer so let's just erase that now I'm just doing this very quickly I know I'm going to probably muck up or something along this line but it doesn't really matter like that get as close as you can so just there now once you've done that there that looks pretty good but we're going we've got like a straight line down here which we don't want so let's just fade away that straight line like that 
Now I'm just doing this very quickly, that straight line, because it's probably not that perfect. You can probably still see a bit of the straight line, but you know, you've got probably a lot more time than me uh, on this. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the smudge tool, and this is on the left hand side. Um, bring the brush size up, and we're just going to bring so it looks like his face is melting now on a high resolution image uh, the smudge tool can take ages and ages and ages to load uh, like it's doing right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this bit and then come back to when I've done it now don't worry if you think you know I'm doing anything else all you have to do with the smudge tool is click the bit that you want and then drag down to smudge it so it looks like his whole face is completely melting um, and you'll get the gist of the sort of effect I'm trying to go for when I come back so I'll see you in a minute 